Hello Internet, this is Storm for 125 and well, I'm just going to start my series of cat drawing tutorials, starting with basic cat anatomy. Um, actually, I'm not sure if people really know about cat anatomy if you don't own a cat. So I will be explaining that in the best uh, drawing sense that I can, and that popping is me popping my fingers. Um, so we're going to plug in the tool of the trade and get started. Okay, so if I can turn that part off, okay. Actually, you know what? I still want that up. So I can explain some things as we go along. There we go. Um, yeah, that's my premiere video right here. And if I can open up this. Yeah, I just finished doing that like an hour ago. Um, I already exported it, so it's fine. Um, okay, cat anatomy is actually quite simple. And people tend to make it really frustrating. And, yeah. Don't mind this back leg right here, because that's just really weird. And, um, it's like a noodle. Um, yeah, so, um, let's pop this out for a sec. Scooch it this way. Whoa, not what I wanted at all. So we're going to decrease that, and now we can work. Okay, so the first thing you really want to work on is the skeleton, the underskeleton. So I already pre-prepared this because I did a presentation um, two days ago, I think. And as you can see in this drawing, um, you have the legs the shoulder blades. This one's a little erratically placed, um, and I'm not really sure why I placed it there, but um, yeah. First thing you want to start with, though, and I'm just like going to hide all of this stuff and start with a new layer, because I feel like that really helps. So the first thing you want to start with is like a circle shape for the head, because, let's be honest, circle shape right here. Um, and just forget about the head for now and just proceed you know, with the neck. And most people probably know this, but and I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt for that, but head, or excuse me, not head, neck, back, tail, all connected, one big set of bones. So, um, yeah, this is actually a little small. So I'm going to make this canvas a little bigger. Resize the canvas. Uh, okay. Okay, this really helps. Okay, so beyond yeah, the head and neck, you're going to want to extend out the back as long as you think your cat will be, and extend out the tail. As I said earlier, the tail is just an extension of the spine, and it's really simple that way, and I um, really wish this would stay here too. Um, yeah, right now I'm just sketching things out really roughly, so really no problem if you screw up. Eraser is your best friend, whether you're working with pencil and paper or with a Wacom tablet or just your touchpad for that matter. Um, just always remember that. Straight up, that's drawing 101. Um, uh... Yeah, after you have the head and the spine, I'd start placing the legs, and it's always going to be like five bones. Alright, you're going to have the shoulder, the um, 
whatever this is. I haven't taken human anatomy and phys yet, so I um, really don't know what the name of that bone is. But, um, bicep. Your bicep, uh, am I even saying that curly? Bicep. I think. Um, and then you're going to have this joint, which connects down into this. And this is actually two different bones right here. And they're for cat speaking, of course. You're going to have the lower bone, which is actually another part of the leg. And then you're going to have the foot itself, which is like a series of different bones in reality. But we're not going to draw out each and every bone. So, yeah, there you have the, the forearm, the part of the hand, and then the fingers or the foot in this case. Um, I'm going to have this cat lifting its leg so it's going to be a little different and you can lift this, you can crop it, you can do whatever you need to do with it and just change it to be your own specific cat like oh my that was not at all what I wanted um, like me, I'm just going to select this and move this because this isn't actually what I'd like. It's not my ideal cat leg. So I'm just going to snag this if I can and pull it up a little bit because in reality there are three planes and I noted this and I forgot to mention it but there are three, blane, three planes so let's just take your fingers and put them horizontally with, or actually diagonally. You can see the foreground, the midground, and the background. You want to think of this the same way. Your tail is going to be the midground. Um, for this cat, left forepaw is going to be a foreground. Right forepaw is going to be your background because of the way the cat is facing. Um, the head is really... Um, it kind of transgresses every plane so it's it really it, you have to dissect the head and I don't mean this literally but um figuratively dissect the head into different parts you have the one side of the face the other side of the face the nose and it just goes on and on and we're not going to go into that in this lesson but just so you know the more you know um yeah so I'm just like gonna select this entire cat so I can keep working and eraser best friend always um so I'm just gonna erase this excess wow that is not working for me um, erase this excess and then we can just keep going um now for the back paws and legs you're wanna gonna you excuse me you are going to want to um, do it in a very similar fashion and it's basically the same thing it's gonna be from your butt to your knee your knee to your ankle and just remember your yeah, your hock or not your hock but your heel that little big bunch of skin and bone is going to be their hock and actually I'm going to pull up a photo as a comparison um, I know I already versus animal anatomy. Come on. Thank you. Gosh, I googled this like two days ago. Um, here's the perfect picture. I know it's not a cat, but it's an animal. And this basically reiterates everything I've been saying. Shoulder to um yeah, or not. Shoulder, nah, um, this joint to the elbow is going to be that and that, and you can actually see exactly what's going on. And I will be putting this as a reference inside of the description for the YouTube video. Um, yeah. Now, as I kept going, you're going to go from the hawk or the heel down to... Um, well, like the middle of your foot. And that's going to actually go down pretty far. And actually, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Am I doing this wrong? You know, I'm just going to pull up my other photo. 
Let's see if I'm doing this right. Yep, wrong one. Um, it appears that I am. Um, I'm just really off today, so just bear with me. And then there's going to be, excuse me, then there's going to be the foot, and it's not going to be that long, which is also why we have the eraser for that. Um, and I'm going to have the other leg just stretch out a little bit, just moi, and that's going to be pretty much the same thing. Butt to your knee, knee to your heel, heel to the middle of your foot, foot to the end of the foot. And actually, that's not exactly what I want anyway. Not quite. Normally, I'd have music playing, but I found out that um, music doesn't really bode well with all of this. So it's a little frustrating that way, but I guess I can live with it for you guys. So yeah, now that you have that, you're just going to want to put in the ribs, and this basically gives form for the overlaying later. And it's just really simple. Little um, a semicircle from about, I'm trying to think here, from about middle of the forearm, slash that's not the forearm, that's like right here from the middle of your bicep arm to to like top of the spine really simple um really really simple um and after you have that all laid out i'd pick another color because that's me and i pick really bright colors for overlaying and stuff for sketching so that way you can tell the difference between each layer and stuff so it's not really that hard to do and the first thing you want to do is go from the, the spot that connects your neck to your head and just draw down and start drawing. And yeah, the cat's back is very flexible and not very smooth. You always have to remember that when drawing cats. Uh, I'm going to have this cat's tail a little bushier than normal because I'm a little off and very cold and my fingers don't really want to move correctly today. And this cat is going to be facing forward. Um, not really sure why, I just felt like it should today. And yeah, I'm just going to draw this. And please realize cat is not this thin. In fact, it should actually be more like that. But for teaching purposes, I'm going to leave it this thin because there is hair. Lots and lots of hair. And it's basically all overlaying after this. And yeah. So yeah. Um, once you have the main body, I'd suggest going straight to the hind legs. Just because it really connects to the belly for the drawing and the sketching. So yeah, just... Remember, oh, that is the eraser, not the pen. Um, the thigh part, yeah, just from the butt to your knee, is going to be very thick. Um, and it's actually pretty much a common thing when it comes to humans and cats. It's a lot of muscle right there, because that is your, um, as your quadricep. No, it's not. Is it quadrilat? No. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm just rattling now. Um, yeah, it's just your thigh. Um, usually I have my thoughts more collected before I start a video stream. So, yeah. And it just gradually gets thinner. And then when it comes from your heel to the middle of your foot, there are several different pads. And I'm actually going to stick my foot up here because I feel like this would help a little bit. If I can get it up there. Simply put, you can see the difference, here to here, okay, <laughs> and I was wearing socks, but I'm no longer wearing socks, um, but yeah, that's going to be that bone right there, and it's going to be a little thinner, obviously, and then you have your paw, and there are many different styles, but I just prefer this little sharp horseshoe-ish kind of thing, and yeah, the 
front feet, I'm a little cold, so I'm going to put my sock back on. Um, the front legs are going to be a bit different because, well, you can see the difference between your legs and your arms. They do different things. Um, not necessarily for cats, but pretty much. Um, so yeah, this leg is going to be in the foreground, so I'm going to work on top. And I'm going to erase part of this, actually, right now. I was going to say later, but no. Um, yeah, and it's just going to be a little thick, not very much, to thinner, down to your foot. really wish this wouldn't be so slow, but it is. Um, and I'm just going to do that little horseshoe-ish kind of a shape right there. Um, when you're doing your other legs, remember that a lot of it's going to be erased away. Like right here for this drawing, and in fact I should probably mute these pictures. You can see that it changed a lot for the actual cat, if I can move this. And you can see a lot of the parts of the cat over here, but on the other side you can't see as much. And that's actually quite logical, and I don't really know why I mentioned that at all, but I did, so there you go. Um, yeah, and if I can get on the correct layer, you're going to want to just draw down as if you have the rest of the way, and draw your little paw, go up, and you're done with that leg. Just really simple for that leg. The back leg is about as simple as the other leg, so just remember that the backs of the hind legs are basically your buttocks. Um, they're quite, um, I don't want to say gaping, because that's kind of a rude term. Um, this is actually really off, I realize. Because it's not going to be that wide, especially if it's in the back ground. Um, that should be like right there. Um, yeah, I'm just like gonna grab this quick and move it over a load. So yeah, it's gonna look more like that. Um, and you just wanna draw over it, slash around it. Slash, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, yeah. And actually, you're not. You're going to see this part, the front of the foot, on this side, but not so much on that side. So I'm going to erase that part. Because the foot is facing, not towards you, but away from you. And, yeah. So yeah, once you get up to the face, I'm going to explain that in a whole different lesson. But this is basic cat anatomy. And now that I've explained that, I'm going to show you that I made this from a picture. The original file, mind you, not this one that I did just now. This is a cat. A regular old real cat. And I just stole it off of Google and I went over it with a skeleton and just made this quick little skeleton. Went over it again Actually, I muted the picture of the actual cat, changed the legs, as you can see with the red, so that instead of the legs being this way, it was more like this way, if you guys know what, what I'm talking about. I just switched the positions. And it was kind of simple, shortening, lengthening, moving of positions, not that hard. And that's what the final product looked like. Of course, these are just sketches, and that's a really, really bad head right there. Like, that head is so bad, like, I want to throw up looking at it. So, yeah, I'm going to come in, come, <laughs> come in back. Um, I'm going to come back in a different lesson and explain how to draw this head right here. Because I feel like I can do a whole different positions of heads. I could do um, profile front, three-quarter, both sides, explain the basic anatomy of the skull and stuff. And yeah, I feel like that'd be really fun. So I'm going to see you guys later, and I am done with this lesson. So yeah. 
Hey guys, Storm for One Two Five here. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching my drawing tutorial, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, there will be more to come, and it will be right over here. And if you guys really liked it, give her a thumbs up, and here's the subscribe button, and it's also right here. So, like, if you want to see more, you can just go watch the next video if you want. Or you can just hit the little subscribe button. So yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed.